Giants they may be, but they're disappearing from view, falling victim to poachers on a near industrial scale. Elephant herds roam the savannas and forests of 37 African nations, but their numbers have dropped dramatically over the past decade. We're going to lose the elephant. In Kenya this week, a grand gathering seeks to turn the tide in their favor. In just 10 years, you know, we have lost as many as 70 percent of the forest elephants of all Central Africa. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 70 percent. Tomorrow, Kenya will burn 105 tons of seized ivory. Great pyres of tusks prepared, worth an estimated $30 million on the black market. Kenyan conservationist Richard Leakey calls it a powerful message. Kenya's position is ivory is only valuable if it's on a living elephant. A global treaty signed in 1989 banned the ivory trade, but it continues to thrive nonetheless, fueled mainly by Asian markets. The poachers are increasingly weaponized, machine guns used to bring down animals in ever greater numbers. Their carcasses litter the landscape like deflated rubber life rafts, tusks hacked away. Elephants, it said, never leave a member of the herd behind, if only it were true of mankind as well. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.